Hey guys, this is Mike the Wrestling God Smith that you are watching on wrestling. Uh, my this video today is actually my review of, in my opinion, the greatest AW pay per view ever. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, like I said, the AW. The first thing I did watch the pre show match with MJF and Joe. They won against the Guns. I'm not really upset that they lost, but the Guns are gonna get those Ring of Honor belts. They're probably gonna make Joe. I mean, make um Adam Cole re like kind of retire or basically um like vacate them. But I don't really think so. I did love the ending though, cause like the, the guns actually broke like um MJF's knee because the thing is like they kind of injured his knee and he goes in the stretcher. And the fact is like. They literally, he said, don't take, don't take my, don't, he says to, he says to Adam, don't take him, don't tell him, don't take my, tell them not to take my title, take my title away, don't tell him, I promise, he's like, I promise, I promise, Max, I promise, and the thing is, like, what, what got me is, like, when he said it, he was, like, damn, like, he was, he was like, damn it, that shouldn't have happened, and I'm thinking, because I think he really would have, like I said, I think he's been trying to just, because we didn't see the, because, the one thing I want to say, we didn't see the devil. We didn't see the devil because of reasons, but we didn't see the devil. But I think he's the devil, bro. Because the thing is, why would he show up and try to take over the spot? Try to take on Jay White and try to fight him. And then MJF came back. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that he is the devil. I mean, it was a good, like, I think the, like, the tag match was good. I think it would have been better if, like, if we would have got somebody he doesn't want to deal with, which probably would have been Wardlow, because there's history there. But I kind of want to give that, like, I want to give that a 7 out of 10, because it was a good match, but it booked the guns really strong, but I think the guns need those titles to elevate them a little bit. But the thing I want to, but the thing I want to talk about, bro... Is the fact, man, that six man tag match with Christian was good. I'm gonna give that an eight because we got a lot of back and forth. They hugged each other. They actually have a name now. They're called the Patriarchy, which I think that actually makes sense. And I love Nigel McGuinness being a heel with Christian, and like I love that he's he's being a heel for Christian, and he likes he likes like with all the words and like him and Tony Schiavone going back and forth made the made the match really really like funny to me and it was fun because like the fact is you had you had you had sting in the black and in the white and black coat with the mask on you had adam copeland with the with the with the with the with the spray with the um with the face paint with half of his face with dark like how darby does it and they're all got bats in there and they're all going and beating like they're all going in there and beating the tar out of like luchasaurus and nick Wayne and, and you know like i said adam copeland basically did a couple um co uh co or impaler that they he calls it now he doesn't call it education which i really like the name but anyway but that was a fun match it was fun because i got to see rick flair actually try to try to take on christian and punch the crap out of him <laughs> slapping his chest and beating him up that was fun and i like that he actually because like christian ran and literally like he gave a spirit to lucha source they won the match and now i guess they're going to realize that, like, he left them, and he's going to ask them, like, why did you leave me, Dad? Why did you leave me on Dynamite? And I love that now, because with this tournament, with this, um, with this tournament, we're actually, he's actually going to put up, he's actually putting up the, like, um, uh, Eddie Kingston's putting up the, the, the NGW, the New Japan Open Weight Championship, and the Ring of Honor Championship, because I can't wait. And the tag match, bro, the tag match we got with um with the Young Bucks and the Golden Jets was fun. That was really cool because they pulled out everything and they tried to do a one wing and angel with Kenny Omega and, and the Bucks pulled it off. And the fact that the Bucks got pissed that they lost their title shot was great. It was the icing on the cake, bro. It was the icing on the cake for them to go heel. Like it's the icing on the cake. I can't wait for Wednesday. That was that was a that was a solid night. But bro, that man, they were doing, dude, they were doing super kicks, the BTE trigger, they couldn't get him. And the fact that he did V trigger, he did V trigger and a double clothesline, and then he did a double um, 
Northern Lights suplex on Jericho and actually got his in injured Jericho's arm and he couldn't do the Jews effect. He had to use his, his non-dominant arm to do it. Like, bro, that was fun. That was fun. Even the, the Hikaru match was good because, like, yo, it was so fun. But I also want to talk about the um the next match I'm going to talk about. I'm going to go a little bit more in depth, guys. Is the Orange Cassidy and Mox match, bro. It's like, bro, it was, it was, it was brutal. It was blood. Orange Cassidy wasn't bleeding, but Mox was bleeding. He opened up that turnbuckle. Orange Cassidy tried to do an orange, like, he did seven orange punches. Like he did the first orange punch, Mox was still on his knee. On he was he was he was he was drowsy. Tried to do red rum, tried to submit him, and he just broke him off. And he still went back on him. Like Orange Cassidy got a fury, bro. He came out. He was coming out swinging. They were going in, and then Mox tried to do the King Kong Larry. Tried to do the death right off top of the rope. That he gets a kick out at two. The crowd is so into it. Like, even Tony Schiavone and, and Nigel McGinnis was so good into it. And, and Excalibur were in, in, into it. Because, bro, he was just going. And the fact that he was able to do seven orange punches to that same injured wrist. Like, bro, and he took off the pat and did it again. And did it, like, bro, and did the beach break and got the win. And he beat him clean. It wasn't no crazy shenanigans. Like, the Blackpool Combat Club didn't get involved, like... They like and then and then Yuta tried to bump into like they did like he did like a bump into like with um with hook and they they got a robbery starting they got a robbery he wants him he wants Yuta he want to tap him out you don't want that belt but man yo Orange Cassidy it was fun that was fun that was that was I'm gonna give that also a nine but my match of the night I want to say is like bro my match of the night for me. Was that Texas death match. Cause buddy. Bro. The beginning of that match was fun. Like the fact that they were beating. Like him and Swerve were. Hangman out on page and Swerve. Were beating the living hell out of each other. They were just beating. Like yo. It was so much blood. That yo. And the funny thing I would never see in wrestling. A guy drinking another guy's blood. That was fun. That was some real. That was off the. That was some off the script thing. I would have, I would have never seen that would be, cause bro, that Texas death match was bloody. Like the fact that we had a barbed wire chair. We had a barbed wire chair. We had table spot. We had brothers breaking the table. We had blood on swerve. Like him and hang hangman was dude. I wanted him to get his revenge. Like, he came in there guns blazing. They were not taking it easy. And the fact that they had, like, they had, like, literally give him, like, bro, him doing something, and they actually got the use of chance out. Like, the crowd was loving it. Like, after a while, they're like, yeah, it was, bro, it was a bloody, it was a, it wasn't just a, it wasn't like a street fight. This was blood. This was a Texas death. This is what I'm talking about. This is ECW style Texas death match style. Like, I want to see more of that in AEW. Because that was wild. Like, the fact that Hangman was doing buck, like he was doing buck shots and he was doing dead eye was crazy. Like, bro, he was doing dead eye on tables on the barbed wire table. And he broke the table. He did it on the outside. He was doing it on the steps. His brother was weak. They were beating. Like, bro, they each wanted, both of them wanted to be. It wasn't, this wasn't a wrestling match. This was a fight. And the great spot that I got was the fact that he took his child drawing and stapled to his face, bro. Like, dude, like, and he was stapling all over his body. Like, I would have never thought of that. And he takes Nana and he puts him, like, he took Nana and he put him through a table. Like, he took the guy, he took Prince Nana. I would have, like, he, I would have did that to Cage, but Nana's even better. Like, it was fun. Like I said it before, it's fun, dude. It was fun, 
like, bro, it was fun. Like, and this is what I also say too, and I agree. I agree with Ollie Davis from Wrestle Talk. Swerve's the guy. I want him to be the first Black AEW champion. He's going to get that shot, bro. And it's gonna like him against MJF. It, it's gonna be wild to me. It's gonna be so wild that we're not even gonna know. That's how wild it's gonna be. Cause the fact that I got a match of night out of the Texas Death match was wild. That was fun. That was cool. I really like that Texas Death match. Like, bro, the fact that the goal, like the fact that Kenny Omega and, and, and Jericho are feuding with the Young Bucks makes a lot of sense. And even the four, like the four, t- the tag team, the four way with ladder match with all the tag teams, but I, I L F. I mean, I F L, or is it I L F? I can't remember. In, in faction, let go. L, I, L F, Los Gombanables. Like the fact that we have Rouge and Commander. Like, bro, I love that he's here. Like, bro, I got this. Like, Rush was putting dudes through ladders. Like, Big Bill was like. Like, dude, that match was fun. Even the gate when they got the ladders and they got fun and they were all trying to climb up on the ladder. And the fact that he, like, casually, like, I mean, ca- like, you know, casually jumped off on did a frog splash on the ladder and broke it and literally broke the ladder and all of them were out. And then he tried to grab the title and he had his hand, he had his hand on it, but somehow Big Bill had enough energy and kicked them off, like, pushed them off the ladder and grabbed the belts. They did, like, listen. I want Big Bill and, and Breaking Star to have a great title reign. I think that if they go against Kenny and, and, and Jericho, they're not gonna lose because they're gonna they're gonna pull out the tricks. Cause it was fun. It was it was a fun match. Because you know what? If they don't and this is the thing, and I'm also saying this too, if they don't pull the trick on a swerve, then AEW is making a big mistake. They need to pull the trigger on a swerve. They need to pull the trigger on the, the Bucks being heels because we've never seen them as heels. We've seen them as faces. But we've never seen them as heels, though. And the thing is, if they're not the elite, then they're better. When they're not part of the elite, then trying to not trying to be like, you know, we're the greatest tag team. And just be the young Bucks, dude. Don't be the greatest in the tag team as it's don't be the greatest tag team in the world, young Bucks. Because you're going to lose that. That's the point I I don't like. See, and that's what I want them to do. Like, even when I got the match, like, I love the Hikaru Shida match. That was fun. I love the fact that, like, yo, Hera and her Hikaru Shida were just going at each other's through. And... The thing about, like, Tony Storm pulling out stuff that I've never seen her pull out, like, her using the shoe, and then the heel, and then she kicked out of it, and then she did the Falcon Arrow, and then she did the, the, the um, spin kick, and they still didn't get her, and the fact that Tony had an idea to use the to use the ankle lock was, was good. Like, she's pulling out, like, bro, her getting the chance to have a title, like, a title reign as timeless Tony Storm makes sense. Because she's going to go crazier. She's going to go nuts. And that's what I want to see. And I think that's the way to top her off right there. Is to let her go nuts. Like, that was fun. Like I said, that was fun. You see, that was fun. Because to me, AW, and the like, this is, this is my thoughts, guys, before I end this video. This is my thoughts on AEW Full Gear this year. We got the be- the match of the night, but I would say match of the year out of Swerve and, and Hangman. And the fact that you're letting Swerve be this maniacal, psychopath dude with the mobile embassy, that's the Swerve I want to see. I want him to do more with the mobile embassy. I want them coming after people. Like the Don Cal family are coming after people. That's what I want. I want them doing that. Even when Sammy is hurt. I want them beating the holy crap out of people. That's what I want. Because like I said, we got a guy and we have a nasty heel in this world. 
And I thought the the Blackpool Combat Club were were threats. No, Swerve's a threat, bro. To MJF, if he gets a shot at that title, he is going to ruin MJF. Even better than been better than Switch Switchblade Jay White. Like he's gonna ruin him. That's the problem. He's not trying to... That's what I'm saying. MJF has to do... The deal that he's dealing with, and I'm also going to think, in my own way, it's not... They're not filler opponents. They all got a background. They all have a story, but Swerve's got a way to the top. I say this because he has a way to the top. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, bro, if anybody gets the world title, it's going to be him. It's not going to be Jay White. Jay White... What the, you know, like I said, even when I saw the match and it was good and it wasn't no shaky finish, but the problem is you're not. Here's the thing about Jay White. He's not elevating them. That's the problem. Bullet Club Gold cannot be elevated because they don't have gold for them. They're just, they're just, they're just there. The guns are great, but the problem is the guns are not going to get a title job, little tag team titles, unless they get the Ring of Honor belts. And the only way they're going to get the Ring of Honor belts... Is if they get vacated and then they win them at a, like in a, in a in a in a tournament. That's the only way. Because that's the problem. They're beating local talent. These dudes are good, but they're not being showcased because Bullet Club, Bullet Club Gold are a bunch of turd burglars. They're just there because you got you got you got Hank, you got Juice Robinson, thinking he's gonna he thought he was gonna be MJF with the diamond the, the dynamite diamond ring, and he couldn't beat him. Jay White can't even beat him. Jay White pulled out everything to beat him, and he couldn't beat him. That's the thing about Jay White. Jay White's great, but the problem is this dude is not the Jay White I know. Not the New Japan Jay White. I mean, Will Ospreay could probably beat MJF because Will Ospreay's that level of guy. He even said, bro, I'm not even, I'm, I'm going to be all with you. I'll be with you guys in Revolution and Wembley. That's when we'll see him. But I'm glad he's in AEW. I'm glad he's the mystery. I kind of figured he would be. Everybody thought it would be Dolph Ziggler. He's not going to be that guy. He's not going to be that dude. I want Mercedes Moore in AEW because I would want to see her in AEW to kind of give to kind of give um to kind of give Tony a challenge because we never got that in WWE. So that's what I'm saying with that because, like I said, Wednesday is going to change a lot. But here's what I'm saying for this year, going into 2024, like 2024, I want Swerve to be champion by the end of it. Like, give this dude the shot, bro. Like, Wardlow's not going to be that guy. Samoa Joe's not going to beat Max, because we already know he's not. Samoa Joe had a chance. He vacated the TV title because he wants to be at the world title. I'm like, bro, he would have to win it from Swerve to beat. He would have to beat Swerve. He would have to beat Swerve. He would have to take them out. That's the problem. Swerve already knows what he's got to do, since Max doesn't have any people to go after the only person you can go after is Adam Cole. Adam Cole's going to have to take a hit. That's the point. They need to book this dude. But in my opinion, like I said, Full Gear was probably going to be better. It probably did better than freaking Survivor Series, which is next week. Which is this week. I don't care. I don't really care about Survivor Series at this point. I don't. Because Survivor Series, to me, it's another WWE thing that they're trying to do. Because they're trying to elevate the faction. That's all it is. It's just a faction elevator. Damage and Control is going to win the war games. Because that's going to end up happening. Because the problem is, EO's been beating everybody. She beat Bianca. She's going to beat Charlotte. It's going to happen. Or Asuka's going to want to Or Kyrie and Asuka are going to be tag champions. Women's tag champions. Bailey's just going to be sitting on the wayside. They don't know what they're going to do with Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai is probably going to do a Bailey role because the joke is Bailey wants to take over, but they're going to take it over. They're going to take over damage control. They're going to end up growing as a faction because oh wait, you have you, have, you don't you just you don't just have Oscar. You don't have Kyrie Sane. You just don't just have Kyrie Sane. You have Kyrie Sane. You have, I mean, you have EO, Oscar, and Kyrie Sane. And Kyrie Sane is different from the Kyrie Sane that I know. And she's on a different level. But, like I said, I'll make a note of that in the review that I make. But, like I said, guys, Full Gear was amazing. It was a really good pay-per-view. 
I can't wait for Wednesday. I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping AEW takes my advice. I'm hoping they pull the trigger on this guy. I really want them to pull the trigger on Swerve because he's been doing so good lately. He's been having banger after banger of matches. And like I said, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my score about this. This was a 10 out of 10 for me. Like I said, the tech, I would want to watch this. if they get a chance. If AW gets a team like a max deal where they show all their pay per views on Max, I would watch that pay per view just to see the Texas Death Match again, because that Texas Death Match was bloody. They were, I can't believe they actually brought like Swerve brought a cinder block. Like we're actually using cinder block and black glass pieces. Like we're using glass, and that was fun. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.